Hey Travis kiddos! I have some phonemic awareness and word work for you today. So let's start with a game. I'm gonna say a word and then we're gonna add one sound to the beginning of that word to make a new word. For example, if I said aim, n is what we'll add to the beginning of aim. Aim becomes name. Aim N name. Okay, so let's do some together and then I'll let you do some on your own. So, ache, we're gonna add m mm to ache. Ache becomes make. Aid, aid, we're gonna add f to make. Fade. How about eight? Let's add l. To eight, we get late. Let's add on to that. If we start with late, add p, we get plate. Don't forget that l in there too. Plate. Good. Now you try a couple. Ace, add r. Ace, add r to the beginning. What do you get? And ape, add sh to the beginning. What do you get? Ape, sh at the beginning. You get, you can send me a message with those words. Um, I hope you were able to do those. <laughs> Next, we're gonna do some word work. We've worked on contractions before um, when we take two words and smush them together taking out some of those letters and putting in apostrophes. So I wanna do some more work with that. Let's start with this, these words and see if we can make them into a contraction. Can not. How could we smush those words together? We can smush, take away that bur, uh, the space between them. We can take out one of the N's and the O's to make can't. Cannot becomes can't. We often say can't and don't even realize that that comes from cannot. I cannot take out the garbage right now. I can't take out the garbage right now. Same idea, just a different word or words. Can't. How about has not? has not. So cannot became can't. Has not becomes hasn't. The plant hasn't bloomed yet. The plant has not bloomed yet. Same idea, different words. <laughs> How about are not? This one's a little bit tricky to say, but you might say it instead of are not. We say aren't. Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> Aren't. Let's see if you can do this one. Is not. What does that become? Hmm. It is not dinner time yet. What would you say? It isn't, right? Isn't. So, isn't. Don't forget that apostrophe that goes up in the air like a comma, but higher up, isn't. And it takes the place of that O in not for can't, hasn't, aren't, and isn't. And we took out the space and sometimes some letters, not always. Here we took out an N and the O um, is replaced by the apostrophe. Here we haven't taken out any letters. Same with aren't and isn't. So it depends on the word. Now, let's see if we can switch it around. I'm going to give you the contraction, and let's see if you can figure out the two words that made that contraction. So if we had the word didn't, what two words do you think came together to make didn't? Any ideas? You can use these to help you. Didn't comes from did not. 
So we can separate out the contraction just like we can make the contraction. So didn't be is did not. How about doesn't? Hmm, doesn't. What two words became doesn't? Any ideas? We know the N apostrophe T is not, right? So what other word or word part is here? Does. So doesn't comes from does not. Last one. Let's see if you can get it before I do. So haven't. <laughs> haven't. What two words got smushed together to make the contraction haven't? Can you figure it out? Remember that N apostrophe T. That was our not. What else do we have? Have. So have not. So here, cannot becomes can't, has, whoop, has not becomes hasn't, are not becomes aren't, is not becomes isn't, didn't came from did not, doesn't comes from does not, whoop, I'm erasing them, <laughs> and hasn't comes from has not. We'll keep working on contractions this week, but I wanted to come back to them. We haven't discussed them in a little while, and we're going to be doing some um, work with them in the workbook page and um, in the games online this week. So have fun practicing those, and happy learning.